I can see you clearly. It's not my. It's not my. It's not my. It's It's not mine, it's not mine. It's not mine. Yes, guys, I know we are live, but you know, I'm just letting this song, a sound mind, just, you know, just speak to my mind this evening as we come to you again. And, you know, as I think you're thinking, we're still on the topic of the mind, the whole psychological, emotional evil that we from time to time experience in our lives. The song we're playing in the background is just for motivational and encouraging purposes. You know, it's very Melissa Kelso. Speaking about a sound mind, deliver me. Jesus, God, for sure for me. Gotta prophesy a sound mind over us. Spirit of fear, a sound mind so that I can think clearly. A sound mind. It's our mind, it's our mind. So many things happen in our lives and we just have to speak the word and tell what says that, yes, I will maintain a sound mind. It's very, very important that we speak to ourselves, that we speak the words of life, the words, the things that we really want to happen, the positive things that we want to happen. It is very, very important that we speak those into our lives on a daily basis, not just into our lives, but into the lives of our children, into the lives of our business, into the lives of our partners, our relationship, just about anything that you can think of. It is very important that we speak a word, a sound word, into it it's like sowing your words into what you believe in and so even before we go any further this evening i am going to be saying a word of prayer because you know whatever we do i've got to invite the presence of the lord to be in the midst because where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty and so I will just breathe the word of prayer right now. And so, fathers, we come before you another time. Father, your words declare that we ought to speak the word. You said without, a, you know, the word, the people will perish. And so, mighty God, we just ask you, Father, that as we come before you this evening, we ask that your presence be in all that we do, in all that we say. Just let your name be glorified. I pray, mighty God, that at the end of the day, Lord, that at least somebody will be touched. Somebody will hear a word of conviction, Lord, and be able to make a sound decision from a sound mind perspective. Have your way, Lord, we pray in your name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us again. This is Marcia C. Harris coming to you another evening. And um, as I said, I am continuing on the subject of the mind. And, you know, this week we're just talking about the five doubles, the why, the when, the where, the what, the who. You know, who, what are all the things that affects us psychologically as a person is it is it bias from gender, creed, class, color, race? Um, we have to look at all of those things as we come before you this evening. And we're going to be joined this evening by Prophet, Prophet Anric Hunt. And this evening, I can tell you, it won't be a long program because I have a speaking engagement at 745 
um, that I'm doing online. And so I have to, you know, take a few minutes and then, so we're just gonna have Prophet Hunt speaking to us. And then after that, I will be calling it a night for the evening. But, you know, we just want to look at what are some of the possible, some of the things we're gonna be looking at briefly tonight is the shortened program. But what are some of the things that really can cause somebody to really go off the normal course of their thinking? And we think of, we think of, you know, we talk about um, the mind, anybody at all can be affected, kids, young people, adults, seniors, so many persons, we can all be affected by different um, emotions um, that, you know, will, will, will really change, will really trigger us. But what are some of the things that can really cause these? And so we look at peer pressure. What is peer pressure? You know, um, for, for a lot of us, we were all teenagers, we were all children at some point, at some stage in our lives. Um, were there any times that we ever felt like um, we were any less than for any reason? Is it if it might be because we were not um, as we didn't have the things that our peers have? It might be that we felt that we didn't have the um, the abilities that they have. You know, back home in Jamaica in the Caribbean, you know, we call our children. We would say that they're dunce or you know they're not as um, educationally equipped as their peers are. Are we looking at that feeling of being unloved? Yes, feeling of being unloved. And you may say the feeling unloved might be for somebody who is not in a relationship. But the fact of the matter is that many persons feel unloved. Children feel unloved by their, their parents. Parents feel unloved by their children. Um, partners feel unloved by their partners. And yes, somebody can be, be, be married living with somebody, having a, a, a full relationship, but at the same time, there is not that fulfillment of love. And love, and I'm, I'm not talking about sex, I'm just talking about just the emotional, the connection that is there. You can be in a relationship and that is missing from the equation. The feeling of inadequacy, am I up to that person's power? You know, Many a times we know people and they're in relationship and they still many, many years and they still feel inadequate. They feel that they are not on the standard of their, their partner, of their loved ones. And as, as I said, it, the, the cycle is revolving. It can be a male to a female. It can be a female to a male. It's just that sadly, a lot of our men don't speak about the emotional things that they're going through. And I can understand why, because I have a friend right now who will say to me, you know, that they're going through something. And in my mind, although I know I shouldn't think it, I'm thinking, wonder what he could really be going through that, you know, he can't really speak about, or, you know, he would think that I would not understand. But the fact is that so many of our men feel awkward to really speak about these situations when it is happening to them. And so I am going to, you know, right now, as I talk about that, you know, I too am going through some stuff, you know, just recently, it's like just a whole lot of family things are just happening and every day they occur one. And by the time you're ready to count one, two, then three, then four. Right now I have like four major family situations that are happening. How do you deal with those kind of a things? Who do you talk to? Where do you turn to? How do you say, is it that you really wanna share everything with everybody? But then again, we're gonna try to, to come to term with some of these situations and how we can deal with some of these as we go along. Another, a misconception that a lot of people think about 
is relationship, failed relationship. How will people view me? People will think that, oh, another marriage is down the train, another relationship is down the train, or she can never keep a relationship, or oh, he's never in a relationship. Um, and I mean, they've been together for so long, why are they even breaking up at this point? And so we make all kind of assumptions. We start businesses, and a lot of time, a lot of us, just like any other thing, we stay in these things because we are afraid of what somebody is going to say. Oh, she started a business. Oh, he started a business. Oh, the business failed already? Because remember, when you're going into business, when you're doing certain things, when you're having relationship, you're getting married, there are persons who already gave you a time frame of how long they think that these things are going to last. Oh, that marriage, it ain't going to last more than a year. That business, oh, I give her six months for it to fail. For I give her six months and it will be no more. And a lot of times, too, people might not even do that. But at the same time, we are facing challenges. We're facing different situations, different circumstances. And instead of getting out while we can, we stay there and we become engulfed by the situation, by the circumstances, by the persons, right? And some people, when it has gotten to all of these and they feel like they just can't find anybody and nobody will understand and nobody and people are just going to condemn them. Sadly, a lot of people take their own lives, you know? Right now, as an association, the Rosemont Alumni Association, we are going through our griefs, you know, both the executive, both the alumni members, everybody is just going through a grief right now because we have lost one of our executive member and somebody who has been so very worthwhile to the organization. And we lost him recently. And it's like, to me, it's like, it's like a, I've lost a family member because that's how close and dear that person was to me. And I'm still every day just waking up to hear somebody says, no, you know, he's not dead. It was just something that happened or, or you know, but every day it's becoming more and more real. And so it is what it is in terms of when things happen, you know, um, what can we do to help someone who we think might be struggling as they go along? Because there are so many persons who are struggling daily, minutely, hourly, and some people suffer for years. Um, what do we do? How do we do? How do we get on? You know? Um, what are some of the struggles that you as an individual face each day? What do we face each day? Because we all face situation, we all face circumstances, we all have, you know, problems. What do we do when, you know, our children are not going in the direction that we thought that they would? How do we deal with that kind of a situation? You know, um, you know, we, as I said, you know, we just have to just try to, just as an individual, just be to that person, be a listening here, be someone who can be there for someone who can comfort them along the way. Um, I do apologize. I um, I just have to just respond to this text quickly. Um, that's just our guess that I have to send a quick response to. Right. So, you know, it comes back to us speaking just about the sound mind. You know, last week we had Reverend Andrew Steele with us. And he was talking about the power of meditation and why and when and who and where and all the five doubles of why we should meditate. He said last week, he said, as medication is to the physical, 
so is meditation to the spiritual man. You know, and um, let us just continue to just listen to the song, A Sound Mind. Sound mind. I just want it just to seep into us because it's a thin line between a sound mind and an unsound mind. You know, so many of us have a challenges, as I said. How many of us can deal with death? We have persons who have lost their own child. You know, we have person who just after or in the process of burying a friend of ours recently, her, well, I don't remember if it was her mom, someone died and she went home to bury that person. And within the week of making the arrangement, somebody else died. So that was two funerals you know, within one. What do you do when you're going to be that only person who's left? You've lost your two siblings, you've lost your parents, and you're the only one there struggling and standing. What do you do when you have gone through so much to have a pregnancy, but at the same time you get to 35 weeks like I did and you lost that baby within? What do you do? Have you ever been to that place where you just felt like this is the ending of the end? I can tell you because I have been there. I have been there. I have faced that situation many times. I've recently faced that situation where in I just felt like, okay, fine. So what, what else is there? You know, it's just something just happened and it's like, Everything comes crashing down at you at that moment. What do you do? And so many persons deal with situation differently. For me, I shut down when these kind of things happen to me. Um, I mean, you might not hear me calling, texting, talking. And so, I mean, different people take different avenues to deal with their situation, their circumstances. The fact that I might deal with a situation one way does not mean that you're going to be dealing with, with that situation the same way. We might be faced with similar circumstances, but at the same time, we all have different coping mechanisms, different coping skills, different coping abilities. How do we deal with them? How do we deal with those, you know? Um, do can we, are we able to still maintain a sound mind in order to deal with these situations? I'm waiting. I think Prophet is trying to get on. Let me find out. He's trying to get on. Okay. How just how do we deal with um with those circumstances, my friends? Have you ever been faced with a situation and you just don't know how to cope with it? Because a lot of us we use you know church as you know that big umbrella that we can go to for our rescue and you know for our our solace, but. I mean, how many times have the church failed us? And we can't blame the church because the church is made up of persons like you and like me. How many times do we have that friend that we think we can confide in, but that friend will let us down? How many times do we go through these things? What do we do? What kind of a 
what kind of a support system do we have? Do we have a network of persons that we can lean on? And, you know, even my Facebook lives that I do from time to time, I try to speak to person about having that support system, having that back that when you lean against that back, you know you are supported. When you're leaning against that back, that person is leaning towards you so that they can support you or you can support each other. That person is not shifting and leaning away from you to, for you to fall. We all need different levels, different groups, different cohorts of people that we have in our corner. I tell people that I might not always have everybody that is going to be financed to me, but I can have somebody that is going to be financed. I can have somebody who will let me know that, hey, this is not the place or the time for this. You have to snap out of this before you go any farther. I'll have persons who will just shore me up. I'll have people who will give me support legal advice, give me, you know, moral advice, give me, just give me advice, give me counsel, give me, just be there as my friends. And I, I don't want to start calling names, but we should all have somebody. It, it really hurts me when I hear, or when I'm speaking to somebody and that person says to me, oh, I don't have any friend or I don't have anybody that I can speak to. It's really, it's really is a sad situation for me when I really hear that because we all need somebody to lean on. We all need a shoulder. We all need somebody who is going to be there to shore us up. So I'm just asking you, get a network of people that you can talk to. Get a network of people who, when you, do you know that a lot of times um, we... A lot of times we, for those of us who have been married, um, that we, oh Lord, one second, he has lost the link. I need to copy this to send it to him. Um, uh, my goodness. I really, really do apologize. Um, so many things happening in this um, link this evening. Sorry. Um, um, my guess is just trying to get on, and um, that's why we like to have um, our guests in house, but. Sorry, my apologies again. I do apologize for that. Usually, oh Lord, this is messing up everything. My apologies again. I have to. Yeah, this, 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 I guess when something good is about to happen, then, you know, all different kinds of things will happen. Um, I can't. I am just trying to forward something and everything is just messed up. Um, you know what, let me 
Oh, should I? I don't want to end the broadcast. Um, all right, this is becoming a little bit unprofessional, so let me get off screen for a while. I'll leave you with um, some entertainment um, as I try to deal with. Um, we just leave you with playing a sound mind again. And I just really want this song to just minister to you. I have to leave my space for a little bit. In the chaos, you are the peace. In my suffering, you're here with me. In the darkness, you never leave. God of mercy, you're walking with me. I surrender anxiety, all the striving has to cease. In this moment, you're still the key. This is the gift you are giving to me. A sound mind for the spirit of fear. A sound mind so that I can see clear. A sound mind, your spirit is here. A sound mind, a sound mind. There's a table where we meet in the presence of my enemies. I will listen, I will feast on every word you are um, Sorry about that. I, I just cannot see how I'm. You know what? I am going to have to end this broadcast. I do a sincerely apology. I'm just having some technical issues in terms of getting the guest on. So I will rejoin you in a few minutes. Sorry about that. I do apologize.